Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stellaris with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to the Divine Planet Protectors. In today's video, we have two goals, the first of which is to start pumping out a lot more research and a lot more alloys. Our economy needs to be better, and our research still needs to be way higher than it is currently. We have doubled it since the last video, which is great. But that's still fairly low, so our worlds really need to start focusing on research, researching the divines so that we have shinier things to enact their will. Now, after reading all of the comments, it turns out most people are pretty happy to say that the cabbages are an owned population. And there is one thing I completely missed. They are wasteful. They are the opposite of us, even in that. Sure, they are plants and they grew from the planet, but this species is almost irredeemable. They are rapid breeders and they are wasteful, so they grow quicker than us and they devour the resources of the planet. They don't even use their housing efficiently. They are solitary, which means they need more housing. These are the enemy, which means, as most of the comments agreed, they are going to be an owned population. However, they will be released from this as soon as we have genetic modification because then we can turn them into slow breeders and we can have them so they are no longer wasteful but instead, like us, they are enlightened and they are conservationists. So then they can fit into the empire. But until then, they will be redeeming themselves through work. So the question is, which worlds are best for them? And really, it's just this one over here. Over here has bonus minerals. So, now that they are an own population, they are going to be giving us bonus materials. Um, I think even from energy, am I correct with this? Produces, da -da -da -da. yep, even from energy. So as long as they're working a basic job, they're giving us a bonus to resource output. So this is going to be... You know I'm tempted to call this world Redemption. It's where they will relearn their outlook on life. It's where they will gather the materials in an economic way, not harming the world. Learn how to not harm the world whilst gathering its resources. Or something like that anyway. So I think this needs a name. So two worlds need a name right now. This world, which will be for our own populations. And then of course the Relic World, which most people have also agreed should be revered as a god of war. A god which has sadly passed away. But now we are using its corpse essentially. So the world they are on is this one. Okay, we need way more energy. That's fine. I'm going to start selling relics. At the moment, we're just not going to find a precursor easily because almost all the systems nearby have been discovered. I think just getting a better early to mid-game start like now is probably for the best. There we are, which means now we can turn this instantly from a colony to something else. Lovely. Sadly, I don't have the stuff. Oh, I do have the, min the mineral purification plants. The miniful, as I just said. A temple, of course. A mineral purification plant and don't really know what else. I really should start using gene clinics just to counter the slow growth rate of our people, but it's such a waste of a building slot normally, but it is looking useful. Okay, well, honestly, we should just start building some of these. There we are. Should we even allow these to breed? So, we don't have population controls, but at the moment, we have negative food. Which, thankfully, only affects their happiness, unless you're trying to grow them, in which it also slows down their growth. For now, we'll just leave it. If, if it becomes a major problem, we can also just buy food or just stop them themselves from breeding. Now in this world, why is there someone who's unemployed? You have loads of jobs. I guess I'll update in a second. And let's just remove these for now. Until we have more people. Excellent. We even have the negotiate of crime lords here. Oh no. Um, geckos, where are you? Oh no. Okay, the geckos have been released upon the galaxy. Well, they're going to devour everything. That's, um, terrifying. What? No! You are not opening the L-Gates already! How? The Gecko's opening the L-Gate soon! Oh, please don't say there's an L-Gate nearby. That's not an L-Gate. No, it's a normal gateway. That's an L-Gate. No! 
<laughs> oh, please don't be a negative one. Don't. Don't. Bad geckos. Bad. The new world we're getting over here from the world we just took from the heretics apparently has an atmospheric aphrodisiac. So, one more world with a very happy lithoid. Wow, and loads of mining, loads of generators. Okay, that is a lovely world. And even has an isolated valley for a zoo. Oh, beautiful. That's better than the world we took. I'll destroy us finally. And they're saying that better armor might be nice. Just stick with the Corvette spam for a while. Or just increase our research. I mean, all of all three of these are great. For now, though, destroyers. We need the um, fleet command. Which comes free with it, so let's grab that. Now removing the collapsed spire from the relic world, using some more of our relics to fund this. Which will give us some researcher jobs. Now building our temple, then the mineral purification, then our first mining district. We're going to need at least two more. Might need to move over some of our regular plants at some point. Though at the moment we don't have any housing, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, is it these fellows? Yep, so these fellows are angry at us. Who would have thought? Ooh, right now, they are stronger than us in terms of fleet power, but I am upgrading my ships. Ooh, I was upgrading my ships. Now I'm just making corvettes. Going to climb this area here. And then start climbing over here as well. We really do want this relic. Um, so here's the problem, actually. Although I do really want their capital, and I want this system as well, since it's two planets for us. If I take these, all of these become neutral, and these empires can swoop in. Also, this empire here does not like the empire we're currently about to fight. So, what it might be best to do, we start taking this area first, so that we have this as ours before this. That way I don't have to fight them to expand. That might be best. Yeah, let's just start expanding aggressively like this. Go for that planet, so as soon as you have enough influence to grab I'm both so of these and our claim, we'll send one force that way, we'll keep the station here just to block them, and there's no chance they can really fight back. And supremacy is finished. Which means we can have war doctrines, which is great. Uh, technological ascendancy is amazing. I mean, honestly, shared destiny might be good, since I do want to vassalize them eventually. At least start making vassals later on. Because honestly, I don't really want our empire much bigger than all the area we're about to claim. Hmm, I don't really know about these. Interstellar Dominion is a bit light now, especially since, again, I want to start vassalizing later on. Though making claims cheaper is nice. Wish I grabbed this before I just made those claims, for instance. Mastery of Nature! This is a decision that permanently increases the maximum number of districts on a planet by two. Although we mastered the nature of our homeworld long ago, the alien biomes we have since encountered present new challenges. They too shall be overcome. Oh, that makes sense for our empire. The clear blocker minus is kind of annoying, but it works for like the relic worlds and everything. But technological ascendancy is so good. That's rubbish for us right now. We don't really have the influence to do this. We don't even need it. Okay. We'll eventually get Mastery of Nature, but for now we just don't need it. We can't even use it once we get it. If I could use it straight away and have some use for it, I would have went with that, even though it's the worst option. But this, in this case, I just wouldn't have been able to even use it, so... Would have been a bit silly. A temple in the world we have just climbed. Ooh. I like all of those, but I really l would love new shields. But saying that, we have terrible sensors at the moment. I'm actually tempted just to improve our sensors. No, the shields... Okay, fine. Better sensors first. Before I forget as well, migration controls enabled with the lovely cabbages. I'm not even sure if an own population can migrate, but just in case they can. No, they can't. Our research increases... Our consumer goods will suffer. And what we need really is more alloys. Now, thankfully, the galactic market is now open, which means I can start selling my alloys for a lot of energy, which is great. Because I'm going to need it. Okay, we have one industrial world. Uh, we have no alloy worlds. 
which we definitely need to fix. So I think this world will become our very first forge world. Okay, back to any species. It was purposely choosing the protectors, but now that's been fixed because the lovely cabbage fellows cannot migrate. And by lovely, I mean absolutely foul in every single way. You know, same thing, really, when you think about it. Construction complete. Now, back to different rules. It's also now been decided that we are not going to be allowed to bombard planets in any way. So it always must be ground forces. Okay, our fleet power starting to grow now, which is good. Oh, there's a, what, oh, there's at least one inferior empire out there. Shame it's not this one, because we could turn him into our vassal straight away, which would be very interesting. Seems like just standard war is the way. Ooh, peace is soon, which is great. And by peace, I meant to say, our truce is over soon, so the opposite of peace, in fact. Complete. Expansion, harmony, supremacy, and now prosperity and domination are probably the first two we're going to go for. Discovery, although fantastic, I'm probably going to go with a lot lighter. Just because of our empire. Domination is clearly our goal. Making sure our scientists are actually doing something, in which case, research. Well, assisting research, anyway. Lovely. As much as this is a pretty useless building to have here, we are building a temple on the Relic World. To honour the Divine, who has passed, so that we may flourish. Flourish. Grow big and strong, like. Lost to bureaucracy. Yeah, definitely worth it. Love the extra unity. Workplace motivators. There are many ways to motivate those who perform menial labour to work harder. Some based on incentives and some not. Our claims become cheaper and we get less exhausted by the concept of war. Oh, look at them putting down claims on us like they can even stand a chance. My one fleet sitting here is strong enough to defeat everything you have. My second fleet is in position to take everything you have out. I've just got those lovely bonus hull points to my lovely corvette, so... yeah. Construction complete. Our navy capacity has increased drastically and it's time for some lovely warfare. May as well put a claim here as well, and a claim there. Make it all nice and neat. Ooh, you have an ally. The authority. Who are you? Well then, let's find out. Oh, that's a big empire. Hello. Now, the thing is, these fellows here, the guilds, hate this empire, so I very much doubt they're going to have open borders. Oh, and even if they did, it didn't matter. They have to go through the devourers. Yeah, sure, you have an ally who can't actually help you. Construction complete. What a smart, smart cabbage people you are. Heretic fleet detected. Okay, that's bad. I just saw the fact they actually have more fleets than met the eye. Good, they're attacking me one at a time. The first fleet will be obliterated, the second fleet, yeah, we'll still lose. Heretics. Heretic station engaged. Maybe I shouldn't have mocked them. Extra shields, now online. Can I buy crystals? Yes, I can. Good, I need those right now. Because most of our weapons are energy-based, so we need 118 crystals. Lovely. There we are. Extra shields and extra laser damage will utterly obliterate them. 
We were going to win anyway, but that basically guaranteed a good victory. So now the next fight will be good since we do have the station helping us out. Meanwhile, you're doing okay. That's fine. I'll send you back as soon as you're finished with that. Glorious. Okay, enter orbit and heal up. We should now be absolutely fine. Woohoo! That was close than expected. Should have really left these fellows over here, deleted their fleet, then went out. Learned that- Oh no, there's an L gate. Now, about opening that L gate there. How about you don't? How about you just don't? You know, maybe you- Maybe you don't. Okay. They open the L gates. So I'm fairly certain they've just released the dragons. Am I right? They're here somewhere. That's a riding fl There it is. Hello. Also, it turns out this station over here has been like heavily fortified. So oh my god, there's two L gates. How did I miss that L gate? Anyway, yeah, two L gates right there. So on the upside, we do have access to the L cluster now. Once we take over that, but on the downside right now, I need to reinforce my fleets a bit more. More temples, please. We also now have workplace motivators, so I'm making a super fleet at the moment, and then I'm going to go ahead and destroy their fleets and destroy their two stations, then I'll go off here together. Now, back to the fact there's currently dragons just chilling. I always forget what these fellows do. I think there's a way to get one. I can't remember. For now, though, we've got other things to do, so it's going to kind of ignore them for the time being. Just had a precursor discovery in one of our systems we already own, so that's lovely. Construction complete. An empire just fell. The hunters are hunting. But soon the hunters and the geckos are going to be fighting each other. This whole area here is just one huge section of war. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Look at that border gore. <laughs> Look at them fighting over everything. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Good guys. It may seem like we're doing nothing, but we are upgrading rapidly now. Since our tech was so bad at the start, and now it's growing very quickly, we're getting all the early tech now. So our ships are continuing to improve. We are about ready to crush them as it is. Our ships have Let's just go. Improved. Oh, just finished. Excellent. Glorious. Oh, come on, that's a really good upgrade for our ships. We finally have the basic AI for them. We'll do that later. Good if they split their fleets. Makes it a bit easier to crush. So kind of them. They're actually very nice people. Lovely. Heretic fleet engaged. Whoa, that's a lot of defense platforms. Defense platforms. I can't talk today. Construction complete. Our champions are making planet bombs. Don't mind us just butchering them. your people. The have granted us new wisdom. Upgrading, now using their station. I claim this entire section now for our rule. Complete. Mm. 
They keep on adding to their fleet. Although we're doing the same, we are growing faster. I can't attack them now without the war exhaustion getting too high. So for now, can you please grab these two systems at least? We don't have access to the L cluster just yet. And the geckos are there anyway, so... That's annoying. The geckos would have beat us to it even if we had rushed it because they've already claimed almost all of it. But still, that could have gone better. Ooh! Oh no, we love both of these! This will allow us to begin our ascension. We can become psychics. This will instantly allow us to have an extra civic slot. Which is great because it means we can have one more of these and there's so many of these I want. Even just this. Extra bureaucracy. Less amenities being used, less houses being used. We're being efficient on the planet. Everyone has their place. We know everything that people are doing and they're not going to be hurting our worlds. There's also this for our own populations, which is interesting, but... Ooh, warrior culture as well. Entertainers become duelists, increasing our navy capacity. That's... Yeah, there are so many things I want, I think, for now. Oh, but the other one's rare. Yeah, this is rare. We're less likely to see this again, so I think we should go with that. The research institutes are now being created. Our research is going to be going up very quickly soon. Actually, most of our things are. In fact, they are. Now we look at them. Finally starting to grow properly. And we are about to get another glorious world with so many owned populations. They've already removed all the blockers from the planet. Vile. Vile, Xenos. Wait. The immature specimen has turned hostile. Oh no, they've got the dragon on their side. How? The dragon has been corrupted. I didn't even know you could do that that early. I knew there was an event with them, but I didn't think you could just grab them like that. And why are they not sending them against me? Well, for now, we status quo anyway. That was a waste for us, but still, we get the world. Still fantastic. So much destruction. Now, what are we going to do with this? I destroyed all the districts because I'm probably going to send them to our other worlds, like the world with the extra mining, since that's already going to be that type of world. Keep all the housing districts, start moving over some of our other people. I, I don't want the cabbages on that many planets, that's the thing. So realistically, what I'm probably going to do is send them all over to the original world we captured. Then keep the capital for our people, because I, I like that idea that we're now there, we're trying to heal it. Might not be the most efficient thing. Did we just... Wait, wait, you were the leaders of the market? Now we are! Yes, we control the market! <laughs> Glorious. Okay, gonna move all them over here. This will become one more of our... Um, When I said over there, what I meant was over here. So we'll send them over here and maybe have one more world like that. I don't really know which world, but one of them. Oh, this world over here, perhaps. They can work on undoing the damage there. As long as they're decent with their habitability here, which they are. Yep, ocean world, ocean world. Yep, go send them over here. We will return the cabbages here once they have been converted. For now, though, yep, they're there. They're going to produce loads of resources. Going to have loads of clerks there and everything as well. So it's going to be loads of trade value in order to keep them in line. Just sold almost all of our alloys. That way we've got loads of energy. So we're going to start doing all this. 
upgrade you as well. Lovely. And that is that for now. So, they managed to get the immature specimen on their side. I am really upset about that. I knew eventually you could do that, but I thought there was this whole long quest line to do it, but obviously I was wrong. What are these guys doing jumping like that? So, the industries over here are, pro are probably going to be our next enemy after we completely obliterate the sovereignty. Okay, so change of plan. Rather than having just one world with all the cabbages on, we're going to have two. The second world is going to be the world we claimed originally. Um, this is still going to be a forge world. However, all of the cabbages will be here working the mining districts and the generator districts. Then we'll have our people working the alloys and the temple. Because this world is just way too small for that many populations. It was silly to put them all there. I like the idea of it in my head, but it was silly. Thankfully, it's not that expensive to move them back and forth, so no real loss there, just a silly moment. So with that, though, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video. Our research continues to spike, and hopefully it will increase faster now we've got everything else sorted out. We are going to be obliterating the sovereignty soon, either consuming them as a vassal, or perhaps... Oh, wait, no, we have to make them a vassal. Okay, so hear me out. Right now, they are weak enough. We can demand vassalization. If we take them over, we get this dragon, because it's theirs. This one here. Ooh, look, we do actually have one of them in our territory now, so hopefully we can eventually get one of the dragons ourselves. But either way, if we turn them into a vassal, the dragon will be on our side. It'll be still controlled by them, but it'll be ours, essentially. And then once we integrate them, which we'll do later on, it will become ours to control because you also get their fleets. That's what we're doing. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, even with the few mistakes I've made today, certainly quite a few of them, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stellaris is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, I'll sort out the world properly, and our economy should do very well because of it. We are growing, and hopefully soon, we'll also be improving. Right now... I'm just hoping the mid-game event doesn't start anytime soon because we have enemies right next to us. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. Really need some more research.